I'm Jacob. I'm Yuri. And we're going off road. Twenty ten Ford Raptor with off road mode. Okay, so allow me to explain what we're doing in this video because it's going to be a very different video from our usual videos. You guys have been asking me for updates on my super high mileage cheapest Ford Raptor and I haven't had a chance to off-road it too many times, I'd say about five total. So I just want to update you guys and see how this thing handles after 20,000 kilometers of driving it for a year. So you're doing the slow stuff talking about your upgrades, but I'm going to get into the off-roading first when he's done. You get the good stuff. Here's some shots of it. <laughs> Ooh, slow-mo. We busted out the high-tech slow-mo camera this time. The biggest thing that I've learned from off-roading this and driving this in the last year in Ontario, which is where we live, there aren't too many trails to take this thing on. Basically, everything in Ontario is a Jeep trail. So what that means is the Raptor is too damn wide to fit down any trails, and there's no high-speed stuff. It's all low-speed rock crawling. But you did jump it earlier this year. I did, so let's cut to that clip quickly. So that jump was really fun to do. However, I haven't had a chance to jump it again because I can't go back to that spot. So what have you maintained? What have you changed in the last year? So only a couple things broke in the last year where I've put 20,000 kilometers on this. Number one, my third brake light broke. That was about 300 to 500 bucks, which did, is really expensive. Did it ever really work? Well, I mean, no. Probably not. <laughs> and it's really expensive because for some reason it's Raptor specific. So Ben fixed that for me. Shout out Ben at Dixie Bluer Service. The next thing that he had to fix for me was the four wheel drive actuator. Basically the way that the four wheel drive system engages, it was trying to engage three wheel drive when I was in two wheel drive. So when I was doing like hard left and right turns, it would try and engage the front axle, which I didn't want. Yeah, and that's when you gave up driving it at the Speed Academy track day. Yes, because I didn't want to break more stuff. But that was a really cheap fix and it's also a super common fix because it happens to every F-150. The next thing that broke was my AC compressor. That never really worked that well. Ben just kind of like topped it up for me. So he had to actually replace the full AC compressor. Okay, and then how about upgrades? Well, I'm glad you asked. I've done so many upgrades in the last year. Let's start with the easiest one, the tonneau cover. The old one was like falling apart and it was kind of a pain to use. Yeah, it was ratty. It came with the truck. I hated it. It was a trifold. So I upgraded to the Sentry CT. Thank you, Truxedo, for hooking me up with this one. I absolutely love it. I always wanted a roll-up cover. And then we got LEDs installed in the bed from Chris Fix when we visited him last year and we were still allowed to travel. Yeah, so make sure you watch Chris Fix's video on the full install. And since we're talking about the rear end, the other thing that I upgraded was the Corsa Extreme exhaust. And I love how this truck sounds now. Yeah, it sounds really good. It's so much eye, better. And it doesn't drone, so that's awesome. It's perfect. It's wife approved. It's so loud when I want it to be and it's dead quiet when I also want it to be, which is on the highway. Okay, now moving on to the front end, you changed up your headlights. Yeah, so the previous headlights, which were the stock halogens, totally sucked at night. They were deadly. These ones are from Raptor Retrofit. I got them custom made to exactly my specifications and they look amazing and I get so many compliments on them every single time I drive this truck. Yeah, they look really good. You have to have your daytime running lights on all the time so you can have your ambers on while driving, which is a thing you need to actually do every time you get in. But it looks really good, but it was blinding me in my prowler whenever I drove in front of it maybe because of my height, but like the lights really are bright. Yeah, when you have the actual projectors on and they are so good at night, love these headlights. Can't say enough good things about Raptor Retrofit. Yeah, and it doesn't even look like a cheesy mod. It looks like that's what it should have looked like in 2010. Yeah, I wanted everything on this truck to be like OEM plus, which means just like upgraded slightly beyond factory specs, just good enough. And then how about the wheels and tires? Cause I noticed they're not stock anymore. Okay, so we are working with Blackhorn Off-Road. It's a new Canadian company and we're helping them launch their two new models the BH01 and the BH02 in several different colors. Don't worry, they're available in America as well. And they have fitment for the Ford Raptor, any F-150, the Jeep Gladiator, the Jeep Wrangler, the Ram 1500, the Toyota Tacoma, the Toyota 4Runner, and the FJ Cruiser. And these are already very well priced, but we've got a straight pipes discount code for all of you guys. So for a limited time, we have a 10% off discount code. If you enter straight pipes at checkout, you get 10% off the already affordable price and you get free shipping in Canada and the United States. Oh, that's a pretty good deal. That's what I'm saying. Okay. 
You also are now rocking Continental tires where before you had General Grabbers, which is owned by Continental. That's right. So now I'm on the Continental Terrain Contact AT, and this is the first time I'm able to put them through their paces and they're performing fantastically. Yeah, off-road has been very good. No issues. Like, I don't feel like you're losing any grip at all. And I think they also look pretty cool. They're pretty aggressive, especially on the sidewall area. The sidewall looks good covered in dirt. Yeah, and because these particular ones don't have white walls, I think they just kind of look like those big black bubbles from like those Iceland trucks. You know those massive tires? <laughs> I love it. Maybe not that big. Bro. I know, but, but in my it. head. <laughs> and I noticed that these are very good on the highway, like very, very comfortable. Yeah, very comfortable and really quiet. So what if somebody wanted to get some Continental tires for their light truck or SUV on their black horn wheels? Well, right now, if you purchase a set of qualifying light truck or SUV tires by August 31st, 2020, you can get up to a $100 Visa prepaid card. And these tires that I'm running on are included in that promotion. And this is for United States only, and all the details are available in the top comment below. And Canadians, we haven't forgot about you guys. Don't worry, there's gonna be some promos for Canada as well. We're working on it, we're working on it. Sorry about having such a long ad for Continental and Blackhorn, but like, we're really excited about it, and we're having a lot of fun with it. Yeah, we love working with both these companies because they allow me to send it like this. Here we go, okay. This is the most Baja I'm gonna do because there's not too many places to Baja in Ontario, unfortunately. Oh, here we go, I got some water splash. Let's send it through this. Oh, <laughs> this is the best. Yuri, have I told you that I love my Raptor yet? Yeah. How good does that exhaust sound? Good, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Yuri, I think it's enough of me driving my own truck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna off-road it now. You actually off-road it. All right, the entrance to the off-road trails. The actual hill stuff and the mud stuff. The real fun stuff, Yuri. I'm giving you the good stuff. Through this tight section, it's nice and easy. It's pretty bouncy, but like, I don't mind. It's a press vehicle, right? Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> now this is my personal vehicle. Please don't destroy it. Look at this view. Oh, that's beautiful. You wanna take a quick look, see if there's anyone down there? Sure. <laughs> Be safe. <laughs> All right, this is where I take his truck for myself. Does your hill descent assist work? Everything works in this truck. All right, hill descent assist. You not, got this, Yuri. Not that I need it, but just to use it for fun. We literally can't see anything over the dash. And let go. Let me get some brakes first. Let go. Let go. Oh, there. Yeah, yeah. Well, descent, now that bro. I saw that it's active. Yeah, yeah. How sick is this? This is pretty good. It's a little boring, but like, if you want to be safe. All right, turn this off. Yeah. <laughs> This is an easy hill. We did off-road this earlier in the year. Yes, we did. And my element conquered it. Yes, it did. Which isn't saying much, <laughs> but I feel like it's a little gnarlier this time. But we also went through like a super tight section, which we're not gonna go through today because it was such a pain to get there. All right, right through here, and I'll keep my tires on the outside. Send it through the mud, Yuri. There you go. Oh, good ground clearance. How sick does this feel? You get to drive brand new cars and trucks all the time. This How does this old thing feel? Pretty much just as good as everything else. That's what I'm saying. Right, I'll go through this puddle. Oh, that's a big one. Pfft, what puddle? <laughs> okay, give me max articulation through this section. So stay to the right and then to the left in here. So we don't have any sensors or anything to tell us the actual articulation levels or anything, but it handles everything just fine. No issues. All right, I'm gonna get up there, go through the hill, and then you can take a rip through here. This is my car, Yuri! Stop sending it through these bushes! <laughs> you bought a truck. It is the forest's paint now. And I should mention that Gzox did ceramic coat this, so I'm actually not too worried because this has already been ceramic coated once, it's fully protected, and you can always correct that later. We should have jump. Who's got a jump? Does anyone have a jump? Or a farm or something. We need more here. jump farm. All right, I gotta get up this mountain. Here, right foot down, Yuri. So sick. How good does it sound? <laughs> Everything about this is good for off-roading. Okay, you go through the trails and then we'll finish it off. All right, no hill descent. Just gonna stick to off-road mode. So what off-road mode does is basically change your ABS braking. It allows for a little bit more slip and it hangs gears a lot more. Yeah, that's nice. It's basically for full sends, but in Ontario, there's not too many places I can do that. Oh, you know what I noticed about driving your Raptor as well What's is that? you've got no infotainment. You've only got this little screen here that has your like radio stations and your time and your temperature. Controlling this with hard buttons is so much nicer than controlling newer infotainment. It's like pushing six buttons to change a radio station. No, thank you. Thank you, actually, Yuri. So this doesn't have Android Auto, doesn't have Apple CarPlay, doesn't need it. It has first sync, I think. <laughs> yeah, sync one. It's it's still by Microsoft. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I really enjoy it. All right, I'm gonna send it through this mud and count the number of times I say send it in this video because it's probably a lot. So we're doing all of this in four high. I haven't really found a need to use four low at all. This thing just plows through everything, like no problem. I could probably do a lot of this in two high, except the uphill stuff. Uh, you have a four wheel drive truck, you might as well use it. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. All right, let's see if now I can get some maximum. Tip it, I dare you to tip it over. I wish. Oh, look at that. Maximum angle. <laughs> but because I don't have any sensors or anything. You don't know. Uh, it's, I'd say it's 45 degrees. Oh, at least 100. <laughs> so the biggest thing I noticed in driving my Raptor for the last year is just how comfortable it is compared to every new truck on the road. Like I just, I still love this thing since the day I bought it. Everything feels the same. Everything feels better. All the upgrades that I've made, I just love. And the cushy seats are a lot nicer than a lot of the newer modern trucks. Yeah, this thing's just the best. I've had no real issues with it. Just minor stuff, basic F-150 stuff. And I should also mention that the 20,000 kilometers that I've put on, I'm now at 371,000 kilometers. That's a lot of miles. Yeah, no, it's good. This this was, truck was a solid purchase and it actually does smell better in here than the day you got it. Yeah, so I've actually had to do like three treatments to fix the smoke smell, but now that I've done three treatments, it's pretty damn good. It's not perfect. Pretty damn good. I'll give it 95%. <laughs> and up this hill, no problem. Man, I love this thing. All right, so that's pretty much it for off-roading my truck. Are you going to upgrade anything else in the near future? I may upgrade the shocks, at least rebuild them or replace them with stock replacements or something like that. But besides that, you like the Raptor the way it is and there's nothing you're gonna change. I never want to replace this vehicle. I wanna keep it for the rest of my life. That's how much I love this truck. Let us know if you want more updates on our fleets because I have a couple of cars that are kind of cool. Maybe we should buy some new cars, who knows? I've always wanted another car. But most importantly, if you want some black horn wheels or continental tires, check the comments below and the description. And if this is the first Raptor video that you're watching of mine, watch the first buying video and the second update video. And then also watch your Prowler down here. 10% off the wheels.